car carrying that and this is my dad's Land Rover at the moment we're just currently upgrading the seats from these ones these are original ones for an old Land Rover that we got them off you can see they're a little bit tatty and they're definitely due for an upgrade These are absolute beauties, just came today, ordered them four weeks ago, Exmoor trim, and I cannot wait to fit them. Let's have a look inside the box. Look at that, absolutely amazing. What we've gone for here is we've gone for the diamond white stitch which look absolutely fabulous and they're going to be so amazing. If you were getting your Exmoor trim I would highly recommend getting some new seat bottoms as they will be very comfortable and provide a new lease of life for your seats. And to go along with that we have to keep your warm toasty in this winter season we have gone for heaters. Hello and today I will be removing a seat off a Land Rover 90 Defender. Uh, so what you're going to start off with is that you will, if you need to, slide the seat back, which in this case I don't. So you're going to, with an Allen key and size 5, No electrics to be undone on this seat. Um, if you did have electric plugged in, it's just two simple sockets under the seat to unplug. Right here, so you can see they're way unplugged. And then all you need to do is lift the seat out, being careful of the door frame. I really need to be careful since I don't want to scratch this lovely atri green paint job. Now we're in the workshop, you need to put it on a nice clean surface to start moving the leather off the seat. The seats come with great instructions, as you can see here, with simple steps. First thing you want to do is you want to remove the seat base and place it in a spot that it won't get badly damaged. And after you've done that, you want to move upwards and remove the headrest. These can be really quite hard to get off. I think they have to. So, to the tickle stick, what you call a tickle stick, and I'm going to try. Right guys, on to the next stage here, which is taking off this leather and foam off the seat base. So what you want to do is you want to flip it upside down. Once you've done that, there should be a little bead or something that holds this in. So, if you want, you can grab a anything spiky like let's say a screwdriver and you want to just poke it and it and you can just use I uh, prise it apart or you can run along with the screwdriver as you can see the guy before was a wood surgeon and he's obviously left some of his cut trees in the back of his seat. Next stage is, is to flip it like that and you want to lift up down here and that is very manky and horrible. And 
and then once you you just need to take that bit out and it should come freely away from the phone. Time to remove the skanky foam. And just like that, off with the disgusting foam. Which you do with your frame. I'm definitely not going to fit brand new covers to a seat which looks this bad and manky. So I'm going to give it a good clean and then fit them. Nothing wrong with a bit of gunk to decrease all that grime. Now I'm going to do the base, which I'm going to place on here. So what you'll need is something to lift these tabs up. Tabs up. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver from that. Now I'm going to pull the tabs back. So, you need to then lift this over them like that. You push it down, forward. There we go. Get these clips inside. And just lift them place. And then you want to find the retaining. Then we need to pull it all the way around. point out you may have some strings attached to these tabs here so you will need to remove them to be able to take the cover off and then you should just be able to this can get messy So after you've done that, you will need to pull this through. And because we're not going to use the electricity element, we're just going to snip it. And that is now the foam off the seat face in which is left with this. Turn this foam off, it will be a lot better job in the long run. No way am I going to put brand new seat covers on this frame. I think it needs some tough satin black paint to go over the top. Just taking the opportunity now to spray these before we put them all back together. These are looking a thousand times better already. This is turning into an epic job now. So, to do the head rest, you're going to first undo the top two screws. And two. Once you've done that, you're going to take this off. And you're going to need a very small flat head screwdriver. And you're going to have to prise the staples. Out. Try not to stab yourself. Ah. 
once you've taken all the staples out, you just need to peel it. So you're going to peel it off like a banana skin, but you want to be careful because these are the only phones that we're going to keep. To keep your bum nice and toasty in the winter months, we've gone for some electric edition heated seats. The large one is for the back and the smaller one is for the base of the seat. Before you put the foam on, you need to. Before you put the foam on, you need to. Before you put the foam onto the seat base, you need to feed this wire through the bottom of the foam since it will sit under the foam. Here we go, time to put the heating element onto the seat. These are made for the defensive seat so they will fit perfectly to size. You will now need to apply these to this bit of the seat base and also this bit. You need to apply these around the back, around the edges, at the top and in the middle. Once you've applied your adhesive, you want to start off with the corners, pushing it in and making sure it sits flush with the seat base. At the front, you want to pull it in so it's only overhanging by about a finger. Then you want to flip it over and give it a good press down in the middle. Here's our gorgeous diamond white stitch covers. Start off with, you want to fold it inside out you then want to line it up with the back and the groove inside the seat make sure it's central once you've done that you want to fold it halfway from the back of the seat holding it with your left hand Okay, so now the back's glued in, you don't want to glue all the way to the front, to about there, and there on the seat. Take it off and put it to the side for about 10 minutes so that it's loose there. Now you just want to do a light adhesive coat over the side of the seat. It's definitely not as easy as it looks and you may need a second pair of hands. After you've done that, you just need to insert these two pins here and here. After you've done that, there's a bit of string that you just need to tie off and tuck under here. Once you've done all of that, bring these over onto there. Like that. What you want to do next is you want to stick, put the sticky stuff all along these bars, in between there, down there, 
or you want to do you want to start off at the top corners place it on move down to the bottom bits here place them on five hands down the side two fingers fold this over and once you've done all that make make sure it's snipped down go snip Off the edge. Okay, now we're going to sort of the back cover. So what you want to do, you want to fold it inside out to about a third up to this line. Once you've done that, you want to line it up with the headrest hole and equal at each end. Once you've done that, there will be three cable ties that come in the box. You want to thread them through these three holes here, 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 wrap through this gap and to the back with these three holes so what you want to do now so you want to thread these through to the front then you want to grab your hole feed it through the hole Once you've um, done that and fed the cable ties through, you want to grab your retaining bar and poke it through the loops. And you need to tighten them up. You need to be very careful not to tighten these up too much, as when you come later in the process, when you come to it up down here, you will not have enough cover to do it. Once you've done that, you want to gently slide it down without damaging the foam. Now I'm going to just work the cover down to the base. It is very important that you do not put on these little flaps here, or they might break. And you want to smooth it down and make sure it's on there perfectly. What you want to do now is that you want to tuck in these wings that cover up the foam. Now you just need to tuck these wings in to hide the foam. Now you need to put these two clips together and run them along. It is ideal that you have a second person to help you with this job, as it can be difficult. Once you've done that, as you can see, it's nicely clipped in along there. Once you finish with that job, you can start putting in these two bits of plastic and the finishing touches. That's just clipping like that. And you just need to put that in. And now, and after that, you need to do the headrest, and then you have a complete seat. Now to the headrest. What you want to do is that you want to make sure that you get the right way, so the stitching will line up. You can see right here, and it should look like that. The tools that you'll need for this job is a posi screwdriver, like this one, and a staple gun to staple it down. What you want to do is you want to get a hard surface. Boy, these are tight. So, what I've ended up doing, I've ended up folding it back on itself. For these, you need to do a lot of smoothing out. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Now you need to cut along here and here, where it will be folded. And then once you've done, once you've folded it, you need to put a couple of staples along there, nice and neatly. So what you do now is that you run two lines of staples each end. 
after you've done that, all you need to do is put the retaining plate on. Okay. And it's finally done. And these seats just look so gorgeous with the box, the seats and the headrest just all match so perfectly. This is my dad's Land Rover and thank you very much for following me on the journey of transferring these to Exmoor Trim.